Hi guys, Andy Golf from my dad here for another episode of Golfing Gems. I'm here at Rufford Park Golf and Country Club. I'm up with the sunrise to come and catch these stunning views, shall we? Right guys, I'm here at Rufford Park Golf and Country Club, going to play the back nine. Sun's just come off, beat the green keepers out. Should be a good morning. Right, hole 10 here, it's about 340 yards. Could hit the big dog, but first swing of the day. Trees come into play, the bunker's on the left, I think it's about 240. Pond on the right, hopefully it doesn't come into play, so I think it's aim at the bunker down the left, peel it in. And we start the day as nice as this sunrise. Was it worth getting out of bed at four o'clock this morning? I hope so. I'll take that straight down the middle. Center strike. Oof. Could be a good morning. Hey guys, centre striped. Did have a little cheeky warm up at four o'clock. Hitting a few balls in the garage. Then the 40 minute drive. But look at that backdrop. That is definitely worth it. Right, 109 yards. Ball's not gonna go as far this time morning. A little bit dewy though, so lower spin. I'm gonna chip. 50 degree. Bottom groovy. Looks been high though. Take that. Little skinny. Right guys. Little skinny to win, but six yards. Downhill. Ooh. Little right to left on this one. 18 foot. I have beat the green keepers out, so the greens are a little dewy. It's not frost just yet. But unfortunately it's on its way here in the UK. Right. 18 feet from the right. Downhill. Let's see how quick they are with the dew. Oh, you'll see my line where I've been this morning. Right. Take a par. Beautiful sunrise. On to the next one. Hi right, guys, hole 11, par 4. 320 yards uphill though, slightly into a breeze. Again, ball's not going as far. I think there's a little bailout area up the left over these trees. So we're gonna give the big dog a go. Aim it down the left. First big swing of the day. All right, come on. Oh, I'll tell you what. Just creeping down the right. Yep, seeing it bounce. Ooh, take that for the first swing. All right, guys, actually middle of the fairway. Got a bit more room than you think. Down the right, and from what I remember. All right, little 30 yard pitch. Just started working on my new short game technique. Had to buy the book by Dan Greavy. So, not fully sure the distance on these. But. 
See if you can pop it up soft. There you are. Oh, release. Release. Another eight foot to ten foot. Another birdie chance. Hey guys, another birdie chance. Gotta come from the right slightly. This will be a nice little bird dog right, from the right. Oh, 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 so close. Oh, I fancied that one. Stays level. Keep creating those birdies though. One's got to drop. All right guys, hole 12. Little dog leg par four, 320 yards again. Into the wind a little bit. Bunkers are at 230 to carry brings them into play with my little 21 degree. Things are ditched down the left. I'm trying to smooth a driver. Breeze is just picking up a tad. Down the left. Smoothy little cut. Oh boy. Just like that. Oh, I love early morning and twilight golf. <laughs> right guys, middle of the fairway again. Don't normally hit three fairways around. To hit three straight off the bat. I think that's definitely a first. And I've avoided the big bunker. Forgot how big some of these lips are. Definitely hazards up against that lip, right? Pins right at the back. Looks like on a little shelf. 75 yards. I'm gonna try a little lower one. Can we chase a low cut somewhere? Oh, it's come out hot. Sit. Oh no. Go. Oof. Wow. That's spun back. A new release technique. Pfft. Too much spin. Hi right, guys, just pitch, forget how big there's a slope here. Tough pin today, right at the top of the tier. All right, 10 yards, 30 foot, uphill. Plain about 35, Greenkeeper's just been out. Give us a little trim. That should be quicker than everyone's, although it's big uphill. All right. Got to come from the right. 35. Tough pin today. Come on, put a stroke on it. Whoa. Oh, we gave it a roll. Mm. All right, let's tidy this up, hopefully. Just outside three foot, I should. Comes on the left. Don't want to give the hole away. No silly mistakes. Another par. It's par golf. But take that. It is level par. Hi right, guys. Hole 13. Long par five. 570 yard. Dog leg left to right into a little breeze, so playing about 600. Not getting home in two. Big open spans down there, trees left edge of the fairway. That's my line. Don't want to go right, totally dead. Ditch running down the right all the way up. Let's just smooth one like the last two. Trees on the left, cut it back to target. Just 
like, wow, there could be four fairways on the spin. But right, guys, four fairways out of four. Now that has definitely never been done right. Still got 300 yards into the wind, can't get there. Again, don't wanna make any silly mistakes. Aim down my left. And just let it smooth its way back to target. Oh, it was definitely worth getting out of bed early for. I got 71 yards, slightly into the wind. Again, I did just mention, just working on a new pitching system. So I don't know my yardages yet fully for my new releases. I'll explain more in other videos. So it's a bit of a feel, guesswork to this one. So 71 yards. Land it's our front pin. Go. Felt nice. That must be my 67 yard one. Hi right, guys, another birdie chance. 25 feet. Greens are looking pure. Around it, rough it. There's lots of little subtle breaks and some not so subtle. So put in does get a bit tricky. All about speed control. That comes big right to left, right. 24 feet up the hill. Play this as a 30 feet, 30 foot rather. Right. Let's give this a chance. Thirty feet. Oh, gave it a chance. Hit it through the break, though. Come on, again. No mistakes, again. Have to come from the left, but don't give the hole away. Oh, 600 yard par five. I think I'll take a par on that. Stays level par. All right guys, hole 14, 350 yards. Green is elevated. In the distance, there's two pot bunkers, I think just in front of the green. They're about 340 away. Smidge downwind. Entries on the right, about 270 to carry. I think it's green light. Give this a bit of beans. Might have to give a fairway. Might miss a fairway, but let's give it a smack. Oh wow, oh my word. That's on line with the green, 350, it's not getting there. Wow. In the middle, just a tad low, so it added a little spin. But wow, I'm controlling that club face today. All right guys, I've made it past, I didn't know there was another bunker there, about 10 yards past that big bunker. Right, ball above my feet. Pins on the right. It got a little bit of green, not much really though. I'm gonna set up as a draw. Let the club come in shallow. Let the slope. Hopefully just bring it in. It's actually set up. I don't want to go under the ball. Right. Feel. Draw. Can we get it coming soft? Go. 
Go, go, go. Oh, wow. Could be very good. Oh, go in. Oh, wow. This new technique. I think it's the future. <laughs> right, guys. Can we go to one under? Just pitched on the green, released up nicely. Not much in this, I don't think. Middle of the hole. Finally one drops. One under par. Right guys, hole 15, beautiful par three. Rufford Abbey in the distance. 192 playing 178 with a slope, slightly downwind. So probably playing about 175. Should just be a nice eight iron. Pins at the back again. So I'm just gonna let this try and release. Alright. Slightly down the right. Beautiful backdrop. Oh, I might have just overdone it. Hang on to the back left ball. Oh. It's trying for me. Slightly toey. I'll take that though. Another green in reg. All right, guys, just pitched about 170. Green slopes massively front to back, so it's released out for me. 15 feet from the right, it's about 3% still. Wow. Anyway, guys, hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. If you are, if you don't mind hitting that subscribe button, it'd be a big help. Really want to grow this channel. Keep ramping up the content. Right. Got to be a bit careful with this one. 15 feet playing. This is a 10 footer. 3% break. Can't be too aggressive. Come on. Come on. Oh, another birdie chance. God, if this putter was warm, I could have been going bright and low. Stays one under. Hi right, guys, hole 16, 350 yard par four, uphill, slight dog leg left to right. There's three pot bunkers at about 235. So I could clear that with my 21 degree. But I'm just bringing them into play. There's room up there with the driver. Left is dead. So the line is up the right. I think the rough's too thick, more wispy. So over the two bunkers in the middle of the fairway is my line. Just try and hold one onto that. Stay aggressive. Can we get another fairway? Surely not. Bailed on that one. That was not going left. In the rough, but hopefully it's not too thick there. All right, fell away, missed, but missed the rough. Luckily, it was that poor a strike. Didn't bring the cabbage into play. Right, 102, uphill. Bit of grass behind the ball, should get a little flyer. I get a little steep on this one. One out two. Comes. Bit of room past the bin. Come on, soft. Could be good. Mm, maybe past the pin. Could be a tough pop down the hill. Hmm. Let's go find out. Hi right, guys. Pitched about 112. Got a little jumper out of the rough. Got about eight yards, 24 feet, big downhill, left to right. Again, can't be too aggressive, but another birdie chance. Gonna break a couple of feet though. All right. Let's go 
Already slick. Come on, turn, turn, turn. Oh. Hmm. Another birdie chance though. Stress-free golf. Stays one under. Mm -hmm. Hi guys, hole 17, and what a hole. Spectacular par three, 170 playing, 150 pin, over water. So thanks to Helen and the team for letting me to come film down. It's worth it just for this one hole. Right, could get there, but wedge wins off the left. But I'm gonna take water out of play, a bank right at the back. Oh, smooth nine iron. Should be absolutely plenty. What a hole. A little skinny again, front of the green now. I lost that for a second. All right, another um, outside chance. All right guys, made it over the water, objective one. Got 40 feet, shouldn't be too much in this. What a backdrop though, right. 40 feet, get rid of smooth roll. I'll take a two put here. Turn, turn, turn. No way. Oh, 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 oh. oh I should have left the pin in. Oh, that made a difference. Oh, wow. Woo, what a hole. Oh, one under. Hi right, guys, hole 18, last hole of this nine hole course log here at Rufford Park Golf and Country Club. Should have been my dad's birthday today. So, gotta stay aggressive for him. I can't be laying up if he was watching from up there. Right, we've got about, it's only about 290 to the middle of the green, downwind. Some guys up on the first tee, so I don't really want to ping it too far on them, but. Right. Bunkers at the front, we're just going to smooth this one. Hopefully. Last swing of the day. Oh, if it cuts, that could be good. Can't see it. Can't hear anything. Should be near green high on the left. Hi right, guys, made it to the back of the green. Tough little chip, nice lie. Goes up to ridge onto a little top tier. There we go, with a new release two. Pop it up. Hit the slope, release. Oh, it's got a chance. Oof. Birdie chance again. All right, guys, can we finish with two under? A little pressure chip there. A few people on that first tee watching. New technique. Oof. Feeling good, right. Can we sink this? Gotta come from the left. Oh, <laughs> wow. Two on the par. Hi right, guys, hope you enjoyed the episode of Golfing Gems here at Rufford Park Golf and Country Club. If you've not played down here, get yourself down. You'll enjoy it, it's a fantastic place. 12 months all around your golf as well. Hi right, guys, until next episode. Bye.